So a bunch of you were asking us to make a video on how to convert a Replit website to WordPress. So that's what we did. In this video, I'll show you how to take a local business from your neighborhood and make a website for them using Replit. Then I'll show you how to use ChatGPT to convert that website into a plugin so you can install it in WordPress and later import that website using a shortcode in Elementor. All of this in just under five minutes. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is generate a prompt that we can use in Replit and ask it to generate a website for us. I'm going to take inspiration from this really cool burger joint nearby us and I'll make a website for them. So let's go to ChatGPT and ask it to generate a prompt for Replit. I can say something like, I want to build a burger store website, one page that covers everything from my menu to my store address. Also, I want you to follow the same style of Smash Guys and use the colors and styles that they use on their website. Now I can add their website and here's the homepage and the colors they use. Now I can even give it a screenshot of Smash Guys original website for the colors and styles like this. Now with all of that, create a prompt that I can give to Replit so it can create a website like this and also generate the HTML and CSS files so I can later import it on WordPress. Okay, now let's wait and ChatGPT will give you a prompt in a few seconds. Let's copy this and paste it in Replit. Okay, now I can see two options right here. One for the screenshot and one for context. Click on both because Replit will gather more context for your prompt and make a website based on that. As you can see, it just took a screenshot of the website and also gathered some data. Let's generate the website now. I'll click on start chat and let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, now it's asking me if I want to start with a design or build the complete app. Let's start with a design and now I'll give it a few minutes and it will build the website for us. And as you can see, the website is ready. Now it looks okay for first, but you can also chain prompt it to look much better. I've already made a better website using Replit, so let me just quickly open it up. I can quickly preview it from here. And the front end is also working perfectly. Let's save this website. And to do that, I'll right click and click on save as. Now give it any name you want and write .html after it and save it. Now let's go back to my desktop and here are all the files. I can quickly open the site by clicking here and if you go back and check this folder, you'll have all the JS and the images that I can use. Now let's use this to create the plugin for our WordPress website. So let's go back to ChatGPT and click on this plus button. Now hover over more and choose the canvas option. You need to do this so ChatGPT can generate the entire plugin. Now let's give it a prompt like, I want you to convert this website exactly as it is to a plugin that I can install in WordPress and also use the website as a pattern. Now I'll just quickly upload all the files I have and hit enter. This will take some time and a few minutes. Your plugin should be ready to install in WordPress. Let's quickly do that. So let's open up my WordPress website, go to the plugins tab and then upload the plugin. Now install and activate the plugin. Once that's done, I can go ahead and create a new page and open it up in Elementor. Now all I need to do is set the template to Elementor Canvas, which I can quickly do by going to the settings and choosing the template here. Now let's add a shortcut widget and make sure the base container is also set to full width like this. Once that's done, add the shortcut here and click update. Now as you can see, there's nothing changed on the Elementor homepage, right? But if I preview the website, I can actually see the website working. We've now converted the Replit website to WordPress. Now, there are a lot of problems that you can still run into. For example, the first time I tried this with the plugin, it actually gave me an error. So I had to go back to ChatGPT and tell it the error that I got when I tried to activate the plugin. And finally, it actually found the issue, fixed it and gave a new plugin for me to download. The other issue that you can face is that the layout of the website doesn't actually look like what it looked like in Replit. This is because ChatGPT just hallucinates and gives you random crap like this. Now to fix this, what I usually do is go to my Replit website, take screenshots of the different sections one by one and add them to ChatGPT. Then once all of the screenshots are added, I can give it a prompt like this. These are the different sections of my website. I want to recreate this exactly the same way in the pattern and then create the plugin so I can use it on my WordPress website. And then let it fix the layout. As you can see, if you preview the code it just generated, the layout is mostly there and it's only missing the images. 
I can quickly give it the images, ask it to generate the new plugin, and once that's done, I can go back to WordPress, install the new plugin, add the short code, and get the website like this. That's not all. You can even generate complete websites right from ChatGPT without even using Replit. And if you want to see that video to see how to use it as a pattern on WordPress, then click here. Or if you want to learn how to sell Replit websites to local businesses, then click here and watch this video.